a treat. My pit is listening. What rhymes with glisten? Yes, I'm on a mission to get you to listen to me. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks, episode 77. I am Neil C. I am Annalise. Hello there, Lady Pants. Hi. Can you get that mic a little closer <laughs> no, to your it's beak again? It's, it's fine. No, because it's not. I'm seeing that it's okay. not. Well, you get it a little, little higher. Higher. Yeah. There I you don't go. like it all up there. in my That's face. Better. I don't like a total facial. Well, Total facial. Do it, ja. That's, I'll do it. I'll do it, ja. Okay, we're going to pause this for about 30 seconds. We'll be right back. <laughs> so uh, so uh, when we get ready to record, we mm-hmm. give our dog treats because... Um, we try to keep him quiet. Right. And busy. And our, if, you've, if you've listened for a while, you know that our dog Zero is a little strange and has <laughs> some issues. If you haven't listened, we have a rescue pit bull boxer mix who's a little strange and has issues. Lovely dog, but he's got little things. So I, we gave him a pig ear, which isn't the healthiest, but he gets one every now and then, usually when we record. Right, to keep him quiet. <laughs> and so he took it outside, and then he started barking, and I'm like, oh, what is he doing? So obviously we were ready to record, so I had to stop and go outside and look. And so he had set the peer, peer, pig ear down on the lawn and then backed away and just was barking at the pig ear. That's our dog. In a nutshell. So I had to go pick up the pig ear, put it in his mouth, and show him that the pig ear wasn't going to hurt him. And then he's like, oh, okay, cool. Lay down. Sometimes I feel like, I don't think he thinks it's going to hurt him. But, I mean, I have no idea what he's thinking, obviously. But I think that he's not sure it's okay to eat it. Right. Like, he's like, there's this really cool thing here. I don't know if it's okay to eat it. <laughs> yeah. I don't. I need you to come out here and check. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I need you to come over here and handle Lovely the situation. Dog. Silly, silly dog. Yeah. He's a little, he has some quirks, yeah. but he's a very, very sweet, loving, and loyal, and uh, he's uh, getting so good at his training and whatever. Anyway, we don't have to go to that, yeah. but um, he's a very sweet dog, and we love him to pieces, but if you hear barking, he's probably just barking at his pig's ear, so yeah. we might have to pause and go out there and hand it no, to him No, we're not going to pause. You can talk. I'm going to go out there and <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> have a discussion with him that the pig ear is safe and he's okay. Right. Um, you know what I'm going to say? <laughs> I don't know. Darkangelsandprettyfreaks.com. <laughs> Good night. We have a free app. <laughs> Download it if you want or don't. I have some ideas that I'm going to do some cool stuff for the on the app. Oh, good. Doesn't mean I ever will, but I have ideas. Right. Yeah. We've got a lot of ideas. We might do that uh, voicemail episode someday. That's a good <sighs> idea. No. Oh, but call us and leave a voicemail. I don't know the number. Wow. Do you? Where's our, oh, where's our little cheat sheets? Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, my gosh. You, what, what is you that? Gush? gushed on yourself? Wow. You well, want a facial and you gushed. Yeah. Well. These are not the sheets. It's tired. It's tired. God damn. Wow. It's Friday night. It's got to work. I'm tired. It's all used up. Who's used up? What? <laughs> you Easy. said it's tired. Easy. I don't think Where's I have. Where's our cheat sheets? Uh, what? How are we going to do this? That's a good I need question. it. All right. You talk for a second. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, thank Ed. Yeah. So um, we want to make sure we thank... Uh, Ed Gomez from the Air Speaker Podcast and also Expand Your Playlist, who was our amazing guest last week. I hope you all um, listened and enjoyed that episode. It was really cool. We got a lot of uh, feedback on the day five of uh, driving songs. And, um, of course, I thought of more after that. And uh, when I hear other people's lists, I was like, yeah, right. Like, I'm there's back. so many I didn't even think of. I got to squeeze um, in here. Oh, don't you think? Roll. <laughs> roll. We got some really cool feedback on the day five and all of that. I could hear you. Oh, I, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm just letting you know. I didn't know if you're repeating yourself. We did. Yeah. We're very, we want to not only thank Ed, but thank everybody for, to, uh, d- 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 who listens because uh, we do get a lot of feedback on our favorite five and the other stuff we do. And that's really cool. So thank you, everybody. And we have, um, we have a little influx of new people who listen. So thank you. Yay, thank you. And for the, uh, the newer people, well, anybody, but mm-hmm. if, uh, if you would like some free little Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks uh stickers and little gift thing uh just dm us your address and your name (laughs) i did get somebody who just like their twitter handle is like 
I'm awesome, suck it, 52. And they're like, I'd totally be into some stuff. Well, I don't know. It could have been a girl. Uh, I'd totally be into some stuff. Here's my address. And I'm like, that's awesome. But I'm not going to address the package to I'm awesome, suck it, 52. So I'm like, that's great. What's your name? Okay, I like, yeah, you don't have to ask your real name. That's totally fine if you want to stay anonymous. But we need something to address it to. Yeah. Although, <laughs> thinking about it, I'm awesome, suck it, 52. We could have just hashtagged it. That's I'm pretty, awesome. Yeah. As long as there's an address, you don't necessarily have to put a name, actually. So I'm, I'm going, oh, you know what? You know what? At I am awesome. Suck it. 52. That's Which what is I'm... not the real handle, I'm sure. What? Right? It is. Is it? No. Because that's an awesome handle. I know. So, somebody get that. <laughs> it's now Neil's it should be, secret it should handle. Be a, a dark <laughs> secret <angels>. handle? What <laughs> is <Yeah>. that? <laughs> I thought that was your boobies. It's Friday night. Um, that could be, that should be a Dark Angels and Pretty Freaks like, uh, what is it, like parody account or, right although i don't know how you parody you just be really serious all of a sudden I'm gonna write that doing down. taxes um yeah so thank you everybody for uh checking us out we think it's awesome we um appreciate it did you listen i know that you listened to the latest um salty language where uh brian uh, mentioned you leaving a voicemail mm-hmm. or doing the song for the voicemail mm-hmm. which you did right and he said but and this was i think the same day i think they recorded i think that you sent them their, their oh, they must have recorded late. I, I didn't hear that part. So, yeah. And then he said, you know what I have to do is I have to do their logo in Daft Punk. Oh, nice. And hit, maybe maybe they'll trade. And I, and I was like, oh, shit, we already sent it. Oh, all right. So he didn't get it yet. <laughs> so at that point when he said that, he, yeah, they yeah, hadn't, hadn't gotten got it, it. So he'd already made the commitment. Nice. We're, well, we're waiting. <laughs> it's, okay, now it makes sense because I'm like, I didn't hear the guy. So here's the here's the funny thing. And this totally about my insecurities and everything. So I recorded. You didn't get immediate response? I didn't get any response. <laughs> I sent it. I emailed it to both of them. And then I texted Tony. I'm like, hey, I sent that number. He's like, cool. I'll forward it to Brian to make sure you know he gets it. And then I heard nothing. Right. So I'm like, I totally, hey, if they don't like it, that's cool. You know, it, it is pretty cheesy. Right. And that's totally fine. And that part doesn't bother me. None of it bothers me. But like my insecurities, I was like, I don't know if they hate it or because i'm like i'll totally right. tweak it right well you do something so. like that you want instant gratification or instant response of like hey i just cool want to know things. they like me that's all <laughs> right? oh so. i think i think they do they didn't like my thingy my bobber they didn't like your song so what's gonna happen is if they don't play it i am gonna play it <laughs> we can put it on our app <laughs> we put yeah, salty languages voicemail uh, yeah, number on our app very confused <laughs> So, but people should call us and leave us a voicemail at 774 DAPF 713. That's 774 327 3713. We like getting them. And then we read them when Google Translate translates them. They're hilarious. They're hilarious. We should, I think we should just do a podcast where we read them all. Uh, we, that was the plan. We I just know, didn't we should, haven't we done it. We should do it. We were too lazy to do freaking VF. Well, we weren't lazy. That's not true. Happy we birthday, gonna, VF. Happy birthday, VF. Uh, so VF from the Graphic Novice podcast. VF isn't his real name. I was right. very disappointed to find out. I know. I was really hoping that his parents, like he popped There's out. There's a couple of other like, podcasts that joke about what VF might possibly stand for. Yeah. I'll just let that go. Victory fucker. <laughs> Pretty sure that's what it stands for. When he was a kid. Congratulations. Yeah. When he was, it, it was a nickname. He was in kindergarten and he was playing checkers with some oh other kids. Oh my gosh. Kid. And uh, he won. And the kid's like, oh, let's play again. And. Young Benjamin just stood up and he's like, victory fucker. And that was it. <laughs> right. Ah. You just told everybody his first name. He, know, he knows his first name. But I think he actually says it now on the podcast. Scott. So it's okay. Ooh. So, um, yeah. So um, happy awesome. birthday and looking forward to seeing him at Rose City Comic Con. Yes, he's But confirmed. there was something I was going to say before that. About I his forgot. birthday? Oh, so About we didn't birth- record. We, right. we wanted to record something for him and we didn't. Actually, this morning uh, in the well, before we I left. Up doing something else no so what happened was the night we were going to record and we'll get Something into this so we had the pu- no with the puppy visit oh so, right, right, right. and then um craig said well you can record to, uh i'm right, like oh it, i'm so it sorry being I forgot. so late yeah. and so we could record last night but then you got stuck in traffic so right. it was kind of like, left work and by late. the time you got yeah home, i left I work like an hour late and got stuck in traffic so so this morning sorry. in the driveway <laughs> i recorded something real quick oh did and you emailed it was it too late though I don't, I'm not sure. Okay. I hope well, it's happy not birthday a surprise. Either way. Right. Because if it's come. Oh, um, they released an episode, although, totally you know what's funny is up. my um, Stitcher isn't downloading uh, new episodes. I think it's something a tons. I know. Right. Later. But I just want to say that to the <laughs> shows, I listen to uh, my podcast on Stitcher. 
And for some reason, it takes like a day, sometimes two days to get the new episode. So just so you know, I Stitcher know bitches. that Graphic Novice came out with a new episode today and I retweeted it for them, but it hasn't downloaded to my um, thing. Oh, it did. There it is. Baked Beans, wow. Batgirl, and Benjamin. That's All right. All right. So anyway, so back and, to our show. Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> and also we should probably, I, or not probably, but I want to say a very happy birthday to Jeannie. Jeannie. Of Salty Language. And I, <laughs> I will always think of her as part of salty I, I language. agree i agree and enthusiasts yeah so here so here's a funny thing about and that today birthday. is actually her birthday Happy so birthday. i saw i saw that it was her birthday and i didn't want to do the the facebook mm-hmm. like hey it's your birthday on facebook so i was going to oh, did you message her i was going to text tony and say hey tell Jeannie happy birthday and as i pulled up his name um i guess a while ago there was a text where we were all texting each other right right so Jeannie's name popped up and I'm like, cool. So I just, I decided I would just take her number mm-hmm. and text her. Right. Cause directly. it's her birthday. So why not text her directly? Right. <laughs> but what happened was because she's not in my phone book, when I did all that, it just sent a number. So, all so of a she sudden, didn't know who you were? No, no. I didn't know if I actually sent it to her. Oh. So I'm like, did I just pull like a weird number out of my phone book and text them? And it'll be like someone you haven't talked birthday. to in like 10 years. Or yeah. Something. So I texted. And you're like, it's not my birthday, dude. I texted Tony and I'm like, hey, I might have just sent some random person a happy birthday text meant for Jeannie. So let, if she doesn't get it, let her know. Mm-hmm. But then Jeannie responded and said, oh, thank okay. You. So awesome. But it was pretty funny. funny. And then I'm like, oh, well, because if I'm she bummed. has your number, then it probably came up as Neil on her phone. So yeah. probably knew it was you. But then I was bummed but. that it wasn't some random person. Were you trying to make them random friends? Happy. happy. No, just, just to send out random happy just, birthdays yeah, to everybody. Just, somebody's like, uh, that's so nice. But I don't know this person, birthday. but it's not my birthday. <laughs> so happy birthday, Jeannie. Happy birthday, victory fucker. <laughs> not Jean- Jeannie's not a victory. Although, Tony could be a victory. Ah, Tony's a victory. Ah. You're both VFs. <laughs> Good for you guys. Get after it. Um, before we uh, get into the show show. Um, this is the, the show. This, this is, is show. all we do. But before we get off other people's podcasts and on our own podcast, um, I want to give a shout out to uh, Will, who's the other half of Air Speaker, who yep. couldn't make it to our show to be guest on last week. But um, I know that they had a Twitter handle for their band, which is called My Villain Heart. Yeah. And I don't know if they still have it or not. But um, anyway, I Will, like the name of the band. And Will has a Twitter handle too, but I won't give it out if he doesn't yeah. want to give it out. But um, so Will from Air Speaker. Yeah. Awesome. Sorry I missed you. And Sorry I missed you. We'll do it, it again. again. When, yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, kind of funny because we talked on the show about how I say Air Speaker right. all the time and how when we recorded, we did a little recording with Ed that he's going to put on the Air Speaker podcast. Mm-hmm. And when I was mentioning Air Speaker on the recording we did for them, I called it Air Speaker. Did you really? Yeah, oh, you were there. Oh, that's right. And Ed, Ed do you well, remember? No. <laughs> no, okay. And Ed was I like, I remember our podcast. I don't Ed remember was that like, part. I wasn't going to say anything because I caught myself and I'm oh, like, right. oh, right. no. Oh, that's right. Okay. And Ed's like, I wasn't going to say anything, but I'm like, I am Since so Since you brought sorry. it up, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I couldn't screw it up on our show. I had to screw it up on his. So. Yeah. Sorry about that. It's Air okay. Speaker. People Go check pronounce it out. my name wrong. It's fine. Good podcast. I like it. Okay. Awesome. What do you got? Um, I want to go back a little bit because we didn't get to talk about the stuff that happened like a couple weeks ago before we recorded last week. A couple weeks ago. Nice. Um, I want to say thank you for taking me out for anniversary. And also, we didn't really talk about my birthday dinner, but I want to thank you for that as well. Sure. We didn't. um, Let's start with birthday. Work forward. Sure. Go the farthest. What has happened? Yeah, so much. (laughs) And and, okay, let's. We have to go back even a little. Okay, no, we start with the birthday. That's right. Yeah, you go. Go ahead. It was your birthday. So, Yay, happy birthday. Happy birthday to, happy birthday to you. <laughs> so we did discuss how it was late. Your birthday's actually in August, but because of how busy I was, we weren't able to go right, out. We with, can't go out on my birthday no, because it out. falls into a day that you have to work like 16 hours and we just obviously can't work it in. So right. we work it in like in a couple of weeks after. So. And, we, and we wanted to go out with uh, my side of the family, my mm-hmm. sister and her boyfriend and Well, they, were and all, they all offered to come out here and right. go out with us. And we're like, yeah, cool. So take it from there. Um, but it ended up being on, on a night that just your parents can make it. And yeah. so the four of us went out and we went to a lovely place down here on the waterfront in Napa, lovely Napa, California. Mm-hmm. And, um, we went out and had a drink beforehand and we did our little, uh, cab. We had some really nice cab drivers, some really cool cab drivers in Napa and they show up within like 10 minutes and it's all been pretty good. I don't know why I'm giving a shout out to the cab company. I don't have no but, idea. I but thought it this just, was going to be more about well, the dinner. I know, but I mean, you know, like, you know, you tell these terrible stories about 
get home and we had to wait. I, I don't and, know too many terrible cat oh, stories. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, I, I guess I... We've listen, always had good luck. Yeah. And I guess um, there was that one night that we went to the Christmas party a long time ago that we had terrible luck with Uber, but we ended up getting an awesome we ride home. We didn't have terrible luck with Uber. Oh, we had terrible luck leaving. Right. Well, we didn't have terrible luck. They just right. jacked and we the got prices an, up. Right. And we got an we, awesome ride home. Yeah. So anyway. Anyway. But um, so let's talk about your birthday dinner. Yes, and so um, went out to we went out to one of your favorite spots first for drinks, mm -hmm. napkins. Uh huh. And then um, the when we got to hang out with the bartender, and then apparently there was some shots of a basically a drink that I already had ordered the berry, very berry martini or mm -hmm. berry drop, berry drop, the very berry berry drop, yeah, very berry berry drop, very berry berry drop, Something berry like drop. That. Good Lord, say that three times fast after a couple of berry no, drops. You couldn't even say, <laughs> say that three times fast. But um, so I, that's what I had ordered, and it was during happy hour. And so um, for some reason, I guess some people ordered the berry drop, but like in shot in glasses, shot, yeah. and they were going to sh shoot them or whatever, but they didn't. And they left. They the, bailed. They, they bailed. And so the bartender was like, hey. He's like, do you want these? Because they're the same as your drink, but in shot glasses. Right. And and he's like, we're just going to toss them. So do you want them? Right. And we're like, yeah. So he gave them to you. And then he's like, he put him in a, He put him in a martini glass. Yeah, he looks yeah. at me and he goes, do you want the other ones? And I'm like, sure, I right. guess. So that was fun. It was fun. He's and a really he was, cool And he was really, really nice. And So we went um, there and then we went to and met my parents at dinner at the pair. Right. And we had fun. And, do you, uh, and we also didn't realize there was um, something going on that night. And so it was oh, actually was hard for your music. parents to find parking it was um free music in the park blues and beers beers no barbecue blues and beers right downtown and as well as free music so they no, had no, free a music couple was the night we went last that, week. yeah that was the anniversary I'm jumping all over. but um so they had this festival god i'm gonna forget what it's called brews blues, blues and beers and so, barbecue Barbecue, brews. No, it has beers. In, oh, brews, blues, and barbecue. Yeah. yeah. Whew, God, sorry about gotcha. that, guys. Yeah, but um, so, so my parents we have, kind of forgot that that was the same night. And so but there's parents, so much parking. I there? know. Yeah. And so they, so they got there a little later, but that's okay because we just had a drink and got a table yeah. early and waited for them. And we hung out. Your parents um, showed up. And then and you got your fun. gifts. And then I got some really super awesome gifts. And I normally probably wouldn't mention my gifts, but I'm totally going to. Yeah. <laughs> So um, I don't know how much you guys know about me after all these podcasts, but um, she's short. I'm also short. <laughs> and has a lovely vagina. Hey. Okay, her Shh. vagina is not lovely. Wait. Okay. Wow. Good. They know that about it. We talk about it all the time. Oh God. Sorry. Okay. That's true. Um, Hi, Zero. Hey, puppy face. All right. Um, I think you just licked my toes. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm into licking toes. <laughs> Sorry. It was the dog. <laughs> but um, so you got me an amazing gift. And for you, for you, those of you, God, I'm so tired. I'm so sorry. sorry. Um, who don't know, I kind of loved ghosts and ghost shows. And I grew up in a haunted house. And uh, I love how that story just gets bigger. And now you grew up in a haunted well, house. Well, I... Whatever. But anyway, you like ghosts. Yeah. And then, and so, so I got you a ghost. Yes. The so, cool thing is you couldn't see. It. You can't prove it. I'm like, I got you this ghost. And she's like, really? I'm like, it's right here. And she's His like, that is William. awesome. He's right here. Yeah. No. Um, William the ghost. Um, so. You call him Billy. <laughs> he likes it. You call him Billy. <laughs> Some people say Billy ghost. You know, kind of like Billy goat, but Billy ghost. Oh, Billy. This is getting weird. Okay. Um, so here in Napa, there's a legends and ghost walking tour. And we've talked about it a couple times and we talked about how I want to go and how I think it's kind of cool. And Neil got us tickets from the aforementioned Groupon. Groupon. <laughs> it was so a if deal. if you don't know, if you didn't listen to that episode, Neil's obsessed with Groupon. It was so a deal. It was a really good deal. And I did some research. I would have gotten for you if it wasn't a deal. I appreciate that. This was. Um, so they have two versions. They have the regular walking tour and then they have the VIP walking tour that comes with um, the last stop is at a bar what and you I get? get a beverage. You got us the VIP for half price. Oh, nice. Woo, like, this was a high five. <laughs> that is awesome. Woo. So, um, and I think we're going to do it the 15th. I'm waiting for an email back. Cool. But, um, so we're awesome. going to do it in October. Yay. Which is Halloween month. Yeah. So excited. So excited. And, um, and so thank you. Yeah. But, um, 
My other gift was from your mom. Yeah. And she got me this really cool light jacket that's kind of a military style. That's enough. I love the ghost, it. The ghost thing is the cool <laughs> thing. No but I loved it. So if you listen in, Mom, I love it. Yeah, Mom, so. it was a great gift, but we're not going to talk about it because it's a podcast. All right? Love you. Time to go. <laughs> go bother my sister about something. Okay? Anyway. Um, and then uh, we got some wine and everybody yeah, had to enjoy the their whole food. Goddamn night. And everybody everybody really knows what we did night. at dinner. So did I. But when they know what you do at dinner. You eat and you drink. And then we left. It was delicious. It was a good time. Wow, that was, <laughs> was the dog. That? <laughs> that was not William the Ghost. Let's that was about, our dog. Let's talk. And that was uh, okay, Saturday that, night, right? That was a Saturday night. So let's but talk let's talk about fast. Sunday. What happened Sunday? What happened at oh, Sunday? Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. So we yeah. went to go. Which we kind of mentioned last week. Right. It was a big deal. So it's kind of interesting that this is episode 77. Yes. For those of you who have listened for a while, you know that we lost our Doberman 7 January 27th at 11 a.m. You might not know the exact day and the time. Some of us they do, do now. <laughs> <laughs> um, so obviously, so it, we were wanting a second dog. We have zero. We wanted another dog. We were thinking about getting a Doberman. We wanted to rescue. You know, the, I'm sure you, if you haven't heard, go back and listen. It's a whole thing. <laughs> uh, if you don't want to go back and listen, you'll figure it out through us talking about it. So eventually we found a Doberman mom who was... We believe she was surrendered with the Doberman dad and the shelter was going to put Doberman mom to sleep because most shelters don't allow puppies to be born in a shelter because then there's more puppies, that, more dogs they have to take care of. Right. So Rocket Dog they're, Rescue they're the first to go. Yeah. in San Francisco um, snatched up the mom and the dad. There was a lovely lady here in Napa who took mom as a foster and whelped the puppies. Right. Does, does the foster whelp or does the mother whelp? There was some whelping involved and birthing. And this lady uh, <laughs> here in Napa birthing, yeah. um, agreed to foster the mom and all the puppies until they got adopted. Right. And they can be adopted as of 10 weeks, I believe. It, it's a very long story, so we don't want to get into the details. Right. But we were able to... And the dad was already adopted, so yeah. don't worry about that. So we so make a long story short, we got to go and see this these puppies to see if we wanted to adopt one and we did and that happened and that sunday. was the sunday after our my, my birthday dinner on saturday night so it was an awesome weekend and the name they <laughs> the name that was on the the so we adopted a female um doberman black and tan uh, all natural not cropped and docked and part of the deal is we can't crop and dock her which is actually totally fine um so she's got floppy ears and a long tail and her her foster name is andromeda which was one of the names that Annalise chose for herself if we didn't, and we named her nine. So her her full name is actually Andromeda Nine, but we call her Nine, and so we adopted her. But she's still too young to come home, so we don't get her till towards the end of September after Rose City Comic Con. The day after we get back from Rose City Comic Con, we have to go pick her up. Be a pain in the ass, but yeah. Um. So that was the big Sunday thing. So it was awesome, and we were there for what three, four hours? About four hours. So and it was tough because for me, um, because it was. There were there were red Dobermans and, and she's the only black and tan female Doberman, and it was hard because it she did remind me of Seven, um, and it was hard. It, right. We, it's we talked so about weird. it. We were concerned that maybe we wanted a red one because maybe they wouldn't yeah, look enough little. like Seven, so there wouldn't be the memory. But we kept hurt, going back the hurt to, memories to this <laughs> yeah. one, and we kind of had because we came in to the game so early. We kind of had first pick, right? In but everyone else was picking, and we didn't want to take. We didn't theirs, want to bump somebody, and you know. and this is actually the one when we first saw her. So anyway, so it, it worked out, right? Um, so we adopted, and we will get her soon. But she did come home for a home visit, Yay. and to meet Zero. But anyway, so uh, so nine. So now you will be hearing about Zero and Nine. But it was weird because I was I throughout this whole thing, I was a little afraid to adopt another dog because I didn't want the memory of Seven to go away. Right. And it's weird because every day that passes, the memory of seven is different. You know, Mm -hmm. it's not, I obviously, I don't smell him anymore like I did for months, you know, and I don't, uh, because he was really gassy. So, um, (laughs) so it's weird. So I had it. So I think enough time passed that I finally got over that. And I, and I was, I felt comfortable that I could just focus on the new puppy and not. And it's neat when the puppy did come over for a home visit, I wasn't thinking about seven. I was just focused on, Hopefully zero not eating the puppy, <laughs> which worked out really well. He Apparently, was actually well 
better behave than I even better thought he would be. Better behave than Seven was when Seven meant yeah. zero. So. Yeah, very true. But yeah, so anyway, so there we, so that was Sunday. Yeah, so that um, so we went and picked out a puppy on Sunday yeah, <laughs> the day after a, my birthday. Yeah. <laughs> so it was a pretty epic weekend. And then it was a crazy busy week, mm-hmm. and we were... Uh, that was a, yeah, a crazy. Oh, okay. And so then, anyway, so then the week after that was our one year anniversary. Yes. For being Yay. married. <laughs> yes. So many people have anniversaries, freaking everything. I'm like, <laughs> oh, this was, this is the six years since the first day you bought me a soda. And it's like, what? we you don't celebrate, celebrate all that stuff. <laughs> we don't? Oh, good. Oof. Oof. I don't remember so, the soda. <laughs> so we had an anniversary. Yes. That was and, lovely. And we went back downtown. Yes. And we stopped at the, the same bar. The same bar for a pregame beverage. And we made it in half during half hour time. So we're pretty happy about that. Mm-hmm. And, and that was fun. Yeah. And so anniversary gift. Do you want to say your anniversary gift? It's not that big of a deal. But where I bought it was a big deal. <laughs> I'm just I'm just speaking the truth. I'm just spitting truth. <laughs> so from our anniversary, I received um, some on the first day of Christmas, canvas prints. Yes, one of us are hands. It doesn't really matter what they are. Inter- oh, okay. Yeah. So okay. there's two canvas prints. One's of zero. One's of us. Whatever. Oh. But where did I get them? Groupon. Groupon. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> uh, You're so proud. Ninety percent off. Might I add? Yeah, that was pretty epic. Yeah. Yeah. Another awesome weekend. Uh, although I noticed that they're in the spare room and they're not hung up. So do you not like said prints? I do like them. I put them in the spare room, <laughs> so a- I don't aka have to look at the them. guest room, to keep them safe from any sort of shenanigans from the pets when shenanigans. we're not home. Shenanigans? Yeah. I'll get you another beer. Would I you appreciate like another that. beer? Yes, please. Thank you. What do you, you want to tell the folks what you're drinking this lovely beer? I'm just session? brinking. 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 God, I'm, so I'm on tired. the brink of drink. Sorry, guys. I've only had one beer, so it's not the, the Bud Light Platinum talking. I have Bud Light Platinum in our yes. little Daft Pod cozies. Cozies. Our new ones. A new one. The high tech ones. These are not the ones we give away. <laughs> Shh. Oh, sorry. Nobody knew that until you said it. <laughs> oh, never mind. Um, oh, goodness me. And I'm drinking a little something, something. That's well, actually Lagunitas. the name of it. I know it is. Lagunitas. <laughs> Let's see. It. Um, is, if this means anything to anybody, it's 64. Po- I forgot to. Oh, I have to go get the weather. I got to go <gasps> what? It's 64.20 IBU OG 1.076. Alk 7.5 by volume. So if those numbers mean anything to you, that's what I'm drinking. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. So so are we going to hang them up or do you think they just look No, I want to hang them up. I literally just put them in there because on I was heading out to work on Monday morning and they were like sitting there and I looked at them and I was like, oh, I should probably not leave these out for safety reasons. And I put them in the other room. But um, I th- we might have to rearrange some stuff to hang them up. That's the other issue. We're not going to kitchen. Oh, I guess we could put them in the kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. I think I like that. Anyway, you guys don't need to hear about that. But it got some cool gifts. Obviously, another Groupon. Genius. Neil Purchase. <laughs> you do. And uh, we got a lot of more stuff. Okay. We got a lot of more stuff? A lot of more stuff. Oh, I don't have my headphones on. Just... It's so weird now recording without headphones just sounds totally wrong. Yeah, because it's all echoey. And oh, stuff. I forgot. Oh, my fro is going to be on the yeah, show. Yeah, you're all poofy. I yeah. thought that you wanted to do it on purpose so you could show everybody <sighs> you're your, your growing out your poofness. No. Poofness is a word, I believe. It is. All right, you ready to do that? I guess. Let's do it. All right. Oh, yeah. Hit me one time, Selector. Give it to me, Selector. There we go. <laughs> uh, Napa weather report, 74 degrees. Oh, uh, this is outside. 74 degrees with 48% humidity. Inside, it's 77 degrees with 41% humidity. Peak winds of 12 miles an hour, average of six. Right now it's blowing southeast at eight miles an hour. And the barometer was at 29.80. Select a baby. Give it to me, Select. Here's your Napa weather report. Ooh, nice. Um, um, so um, before I forget, also, and we're going to move on to other stuff, but um, I want to get a personal shout out to Malls from the couple malls. things. Malls podcast malls to the wall <laughs> man yeah um, so here's the thing i just oh. want to tell you i gave her my digits we've been texting you're like 34 like those digits yeah i didn't give her my measurements i gave oh. my digits my well, phone thought, digits oh okay yeah. just so you know right okay hi that's not creepy 
Uh, one thing we w- I wanted to mention about, I actually made a note of it. Oh. And I'm glad I did. One thing I wanted to mention, so when we went out and we, we hit it pretty hard, your night, party birthday night. We yeah, had a I bunch think I of had drinks. three drinks total. No, you had more than three drinks total. We had a bunch of drinks. I don't think so. And then we were home by 8 p.m. Was it 8? Yeah. I was joking that we'd be home at the crack ass at 10. We were home by 8? Oh, my gosh. I'm almost embarrassed. To be honest, I'm not exactly sure. We may, No, we were home at 8. Yeah, yeah. probably. That's how you Can rock it. it. to 8.30? Was it still Ooh. light? It was still light outside, wasn't I'm sure it? it was. Oh, my God. <laughs> Zero hadn't even fallen asleep. He was looking at us like, oh, you guys are home already? Oh I just my started gosh. looking at myself. <laughs> 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 so, there oh. you go. Well, we did go out pretty early because we did make it to happy hour. So we were out by 5 or 5.30. I think, oh, we left the house at like 4 or 5. So we were out for three hours. I don't know. Because we, because happy hour ends at 6. So yeah, we were out for a whole three hours. Yeah. Woo! Um, So here's something really stupid that I do. Oh, okay. I wanted to share with you. I think it's funny. Is this a watch poop story? No, that wasn't stupid. That was an accident. This is something. Oh, okay. (laughs) So. I do this thing. I'll have my phone and I want to open an app. Like, let's say I want to open Groupon. Mm-hmm. And I'll I'll take out my phone and I'll stare at it. And I'll just stare at it. And I'll stare at it. And I'm like, why is Groupon not opening? Realizing that I didn't ever hit the <laughs> app to open. But for some reason, instead of hitting it again, I just stare at the phone wondering why it's not opening. I realized that about myself this week. So um, to go along with that, sometimes I... Um... And I now have um, access to, used to just do the Daft Pod Twitter account, and now I have access to it as well. And so sometimes... Wait, say that again? What? I have access to the Daft Pod Twitter account now as well. Like, oh, so it oh. used to just be you, and now to. it's okay. both of us. Um, but so... Talk about the ice noise. <laughs> you can put your empty in there if you want. Oh, that's right. It's over there. Um, so now when a message comes up... Nice. Cheers. Drink. <laughs> Because we don't have any ice to rattle, so. I like that laugh. That laugh almost sounded condescending. Cheers, <laughs> drink. <laughs> <laughs> That's your regular laugh. That comes out a lot, actually, <laughs> when you guys aren't around. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I have no idea what I was saying. I don't know. But Annalise will, oh, will say something that she thinks is funny, and then this weird fake laugh comes out. I don't know why I have to tell people that. She's like, <laughs> she's like, hey, my toes are like snows on grows. And then all of a sudden she's like, hey, 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 hey. Yeah, like that. It's really unnerving. Roy came in here, I think, probably to go to the bathroom, and then he stopped and then left. So. Roy ain't nothing but a hobby. I don't remember what I was talking about. What was I telling you? <sighs> you interrupted, and then I, now I can't I'm remember. I'm sorry. You were, you were talking about how awesome I am. No. Anyway. Yeah, you, we can rewind it. We can stop no, it. Right. No, 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 no. It's fine. Well, don't get mad at me. I wasn't telling the story. I didn't have to remember, <laughs> don't remember it. it. Well, I didn't have it written down, so now I can't refer to about my notes. Phone, I was talking about a phone app and how I stare at it, and you said that reminds me about something. I oh, oh, from. so like when um, notifications go to the Daft Pod Twitter account. Hi, Roy. Right. So that noise you hear is Roy um, scratching his new scratching pad. Okay. Just talk, so, tell the story. Right. So um, <laughs> I don't really look at who it's to, and so I you know, touch it or swipe on it or whatever. Okay, wait a minute. You, you lost me. You don't know who what's to so when, when you're touching so what? Like, How much are you getting paid for this? Oh, my gosh. Okay. So I, there's like a notification that pops up and I don't – it just says Twitter, Twitter. and I was like, oh, and I touch it. and oh, it like so you don't read it. Right. It just okay. says – I just see the Twitter gotcha. and then I hit the button, hit the you know phone and then it goes to the Daft Pod account and I don't understand what's happening. Like <laughs> totally like it takes me a minute to realize I just clicked on the wrong account, which isn't you know my personal account. And there's all this stuff in there and I'm like, I don't – what? Thank you for following. Who are you? What? And then I'll go to the profile. I'm like, oh, this isn't me. Okay. And I'll just back out of it. But. Yeah, right. Why? Why? <laughs> why respond to the people who are responding to our podcast? No, I totally understand. She's you like, what? You? Thanks for, for following. Hey, go fuck yourself. I got to get out of this and get back. Suck at talk. 52. Yeah. Right so, there. so I would imagine you follow malls uh, through your own private. I do. Tw- yeah, of course. So she's like, fuck this. <laughs> Fucking dark angels and pretty freaks. No, but shit. I'm just saying that it just it happens a lot, like several times a day, where I'm confused about what account I'm on. So I was just trying. I'm kind of silly that way. I'm confused about like what I'm doing and what account I'm on. <laughs> I'm like, who is this? Wait, where am I at? Okay, good. No, it's not. Who is this? Where am I at? Okay, good. It's who is this? Not me. Fuck you. <laughs> that is not true. I check in on the Daft Pod. <laughs> 
<laughs> I would do guns, but I did. <laughs> I don't know. You're killing yourself. Oh, I cracked myself up. It is pizza night. It is pizza night. Woo. Um, um, I also oh, have sorry. some stories. Let's hear them. So, Let's get after it. Before, so, we're, before we finish, though, I did want to talk about Star Wars BB-8. You want to talk, talk about it? Let's talk about Star okay. Wars BB-8. But so if you can remind me of that before we go. Go don't on. Don't you have it on your notes? I do. Okay. But I'm not going to look at them again. Yeah, you are. Okay. So um, last week, maybe it was more than last week. I'm not sure how long ago. <laughs> I'd love when your stories start with, I don't know how the story starts, but let's just go <laughs> forward, shall we? I don't remember how long ago. It was about a week ago. But uh-huh. um, I go to the gym in the morning. It says Star Wars. Okay. I can't read it upside down. Um, I go to the gym in the morning and I usually warm up on the treadmill. Some days I just do a full treadmill day. You guys don't care about that. It's fine. Um, <laughs> so um, I think this might be the second time this has happened in my entire life. But I fell off the treadmill. And have bruises because of it. And I have a really deep, dark bruise on the inside of my um, shin. What is that? My lower leg. Close to my ankle. I don't know what to call that. Because <laughs> it's not the front shin. It's the right. side leg of like above my ankle. But um, the funny part is, is that I wasn't like tweeting or doing anything on my phone. What happened was my little hair tie that holds up my hair um, into a little ponytail broke. I broke my hair tie and it, my hair, all my hair fell down. And I was like, oh, weird. And I went to like grab my hair and try to grab the hair tie. Don't know why. Because... I'm right. on the treadmill. Like, why wouldn't I stop and get off? But, you know, it's pre-coffee and at like 7 o'clock in the morning. So I um, went to do that. And I must have slipped. And I started to fall. And all I remember is I don't actually remember the fall at all. I just remember kind of being on the ground in between the two treadmills. And my legs being on the treadmill and like my arms kind of being out on the other treadmill. Like I caught myself before I actually like nothing actually hit the ground. I fell between two treadmills and like caught myself. But my uh, leg really hurt. And I was like, oh, what the hell? And so I can only imagine that because I don't really remember. I remember messing with my hair and then I remember being on the ground. I don't remember the like 0.5 seconds in between that right. time. <laughs> and it- so I must have because the only way I can think of is that happened to my leg is I must have my legs must have gone up in the air so high like, that like, it just don't care. smacked the handle bars on you know the what treadmill. I, you know what I think happened is actually you stepped off the side of the treadmill and when you stepped down you think it, so? You hit, I, that's what, that's you, how it looked to me. I have no idea. But I might be wrong. I've and no, then you fell backwards and your legs went up. But that's right. that's what I think. I have no idea. Because yeah. like that whole like half second or full second is a complete blank and it didn't like hit my head or anything it just happened so fast that i have no memory of in between where i went to reach my hands right. up to grab my hair and being on the ground it's funny you mentioned that because <laughs> i was talking about this with a friend about uh motorcycles and mountain biking and sometimes even snowboarding and skiing it happens a little slower but it's one of those things like sometimes you think like whoa like a mountain bike could be riding down a trail when you're going fast right. and all of a sudden you'd be like, Oh my God, I, I almost crashed. And it's like, no, <laughs> when you crash, you don't even know you're crashing you're until ground. you're on yeah. the ground. Yeah. Same thing, even worse with the motorcycle, but it's like, it's done. Yeah. So if you think you almost crashed, you weren't even close to crashing. <laughs> so it's right. funny how, yeah, I totally make sense. I can relate I just, to the, all of a sudden you're just, you're on the ground. Yeah. I was just on the ground and I don't even remember yeah. falling. Yeah. And, and it's um, so funny. Cause in my head, I'm always thinking like, it's it's car accidents too. You know, you're right. always like, oh, if that happens to me, I'm going to swear. No, no. When it happens, you're done. Right. You don't even know it's <laughs> happening. There so um, anyway, so um, yeah. So it's kind of a, 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 a part of the funny story is that um, there's cameras in the gym because um, the fire safety, whatever, has cameras everywhere. And, and so, and so no one, internet. yeah. And of course, and so they have a little area where they have all the cameras for safety reasons and security. That's fine. So it's, it's a good idea. Yeah, it's a good idea. It's great because it's not, it's an unattended gym. Like I was in there by myself. Totally so obvi- if there's an issue, they can see you no or whatever. No rope here. No, absolutely. Not VIP Kanye people. Kanye isn't showing up. I hate that guy. Well, um, come on, don't say you don't even know that guy. You only know what they, the media portrays. Okay. So, um, 
I'm waiting Get for off easy. Okay, I'm waiting for one of the security guys to like Jeez. say something about Jeez. it because now it's on camera and probably on tape somewhere. You so, should just ask him. <laughs> and and so like, I'm hey. kind of waiting for like this weird. So how you doing after your fall? And be like, oh. You should be like. Um, it hasn't come up. It hasn't come up. But I'm doing some MMA training, and part of it has like. I was know, just checking to see if you yeah. guys are paying attention. And uh, clearly you're not. Yeah. So. I'm going to let the mouse know. <laughs> so anyway, that's one of my stories. <laughs> uh, oh, my gosh. That's a good one. Yeah. I was going to tell my story about uh, falling at work. but okay. You should. No. I didn't know that no, you, then it's gonna be know like that you fell at work. It's going to be like one Please tell me because no, I didn't no. know. You, did Put you tell me week. that you I'm fell sure at I, work? I'm sure I have. I don't think this you did. This is a long time ago. Hmm. Long time I don't, ago. I don't. How? Okay. No, because I don't want to one up. Your story, because I, I I was thinking about it. And I'm like, oh, it'd be cool, and then I realized, well, like, I don't think it's one upping. I think it goes in the in the theme ah. of ness, of fullness. Okay, I'll tell. Okay, it. you just talk about oh. it. You go ahead. <laughs> so, because uh, then I don't have to try to keep these notes. My little my good. little office at work. Um, I it's work a hut. out. Yeah, I work outside, and I have to walk down these stairs. Anyway, I parked my little like it looks like a glorified golf cart in front of my little office, and I was walking down the stairs. It was a beautiful have day. Have I ever seen your golf cart? I don't think yes. I have. Really? Yeah. Are you sure? No. Um, okay. So it's I where I work it. <laughs> is, is it's, it's outdoors. It's very pretty. And a lot of people like walk their dogs and jog and Doggy. hang out. And this was one of those beautiful days. Usually, a lot of times it used to be foggy. Now with, it's kind of funny. This year we're supposed to have 31 less foggy days because of the climate change. This mm-hmm. year alone, it's crazy. Pine trees are dying. It's insane. Um, so um, there were tons of people around. It's a beautiful day. People are walking their dog. And I went to go walk down my little steps to get my little golf cart. And I missed the first step. So as I, there's like six steps walking down. So as, because I missed the first one, I'm now trying to catch myself from not falling. <laughs> but I don't quite do it. And I hit my chest on the front of the golf cart and then fall onto my back onto the dirt track that people are <laughs> running and walking their dog in front of a ton of people. Now, mind you, all these people are dressed like they're going to jog or walk a dog. I'm dressed in work gear and lying on my back. So all these people and their dogs and their sweatiness and their joggingness, whatever, run over to me and they're like, oh, my God, are you okay? And I'm like, oh, I pop up because I'm like, I'm fine. You're going to walk it off? I'm good. <laughs> ah, yeah. I, and I was, oh, I was good. unfortunately, good. I, I was okay. Right. But I'm like, no, I'm fine. And then it's almost like in unison – like 15 people just start cracking up. Hilarious. Oh. And I'm like, well, well fair it's not enough. okay to laugh until you're, it's to make, they make sure you're okay. Fair enough. <laughs> there was another time I tripped over a hose and then got myself wet. But right. we'll talk about that later. It wasn't my hose. Um, it was a hose. I've fallen down a couple of flights of stairs at different times. And there was one time in particular that I. Uh, I fell down the longest flight of stairs ever. <laughs> no, sorry. Your dad invent pants? Okay. What? This My joke. dad have wet pants? No, invented pants. It's oh, <laughs> I thought you um, said, did your dad have wet pants? I'm like, I don't know, does he? If he's lucky. I <laughs> guess my mom gave him a, you know. Oh, no. God. Yeah. Um, I once fell from the landing of a staircase to the bottom of the staircase without hitting any of the steps in between. Oh, I <laughs> personally, I think the spill you took when Zero and you saw the other dog on a morning walk was impressive. We've told that story. Have we? But uh, yeah. It was, yeah, my butt hit the floor. Bodies hit the floor. (laughs) You, not only did you, but you were just so stressed out because you're like, I don't want my dog to kill the other dog. Yeah, I didn't, no matter what happened to me, I hit the ground, but I not, I did not let go of that dog. (laughs) And Zero could care less, which was the funniest part. He was more concerned about me. He's like, I don't know what's happening. (laughs) Like that chick tried to sit on me. Um, Anyway. Yeah. Um, My other story is also gym related and um, it's I like to call it mystery boot camp. <laughs> mm. So earlier this week. You sure you can talk about this? Yeah. I don't think you can. I think I can. Because I don't know who they are or what they're doing. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's fine. All right. It's totally fine. Um, so a lot. Of, working at the freaking fresh and easy down the street. Well, it's close to home, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Ow, oh, that was a what shot. What did you just hit me with? You mean the mouth? Yeah. <laughs> All my dreams are coming true in one podcast. Nope. Okay. Wow, <laughs> <laughs> not on the podcast. Why not? Um, oh. No. All right. So, um, as all of you know now, I work out in the mornings, and sometimes I work end up when, working when out alone. Work out? Stop it. Oh. Um, Do you ever work in a comic uh, store? Stop. 
You're on the cop I'm going to tell my story eventually. Oh, go ahead. Are you done? Yeah. Are you ready? No. Okay. <sighs> okay. Oh, that's not going to sound. <laughs> Is that right. going to be really loud? Yeah, that's not going to be good. So, um, Our anyway, first I was. Ever. Uh, no. Annalise blows the mic. That won't be the first. <laughs> um, so, that's funny. Come on, tell your story. I'm trying. Well, stop blowing the mic. <laughs> so, um, I was leaving the mm-hmm. gym when I was done, and I went, and you have to walk through the basketball court to get out. Uh huh. And so, um, I walked in there and I was by myself all morning. So I just, you know, I'm kind of out of it, kind of tired, whatever. Don't have any coffee yet. So I walk out there and there are these women running around the basketball court and this other woman yelling at them. And I don't know what's happening because I've never seen this before. And um, I realized that it must be like some sort of boot camp, but it's kind of weird because we don't have boot camp there. There's no classes there. So I don't, and I, and the other weird thing is, I have never seen these women before, so I don't know who any of these women are. Right. So I kind of go in there and I stand there for, a, you know, a couple seconds like, uh, I don't, what? What is happening in here? Because, you know, like you go into the basketball court, it won't be, <laughs> is that drawing of me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you like that? Okay. That's pretty good. Go ahead. So, um, you guys show the camera? No, tell no. your story. I'm trying. I'm trying so hard to tell my story. You were on the basketball court with a bunch of women. Okay. Anyway, so I'm out there and so okay, I can't, I cannot <laughs> look at that and tell the story. Right, <laughs> so anyway, I'm out there for a second and um, they're running around and she starts yelling at them to kick. And so they all stop where they are and like start kick, doing kicks and stuff. And, and then I realized that Don't kick I'm, the baby. that I've stopped and I'm staring and I should probably keep moving. Cause now I'm staring at these ladies that are working out and I'm like, um, uh, okay. And so it kind of started to go and then I actually have to like zigzag between like not only the women, but like the volleyball court net thing. And, <laughs> and I'm like, um, uh, uh, I don't know what to do. And so I got into the locker room and there was another girl um, who works out in the morning. And I was like, what is going on out there? And she, and she goes, oh my God, I have no idea who those ladies are. And one of them waved at me like I'm supposed to know who she is. And I'm like, uh... Hey, I don't know who you are. <laughs> so anyway, we had this like mystery lady boot camp at work. And I'm like, uh, hey, okay. Kind of freaked me out. And and haven't seen them before or since. Huh. So. You think they just snuck on? No, I don't know. I mean, obviously you, ha- you can't get out there without someone putting you out there. So I don't know if it's like hmm. a client that arranged for a boot camp or something for it's pretty cool. the troop. But I have no idea. But I just walked in. I was just trying to leave the gym, and there was all of a sudden a mystery lady boot camp. And I'm like, uh, wow, I don't, okay, with the kicking. I want to Google that, I mystery to, lady boot camp. Yeah, I'm like, they, there's a lot of kicking. Oh, I don't we'll know where to go. Ghost tour. I don't know what to do. We'll see them on the ghost tour. <laughs> You're gonna, well, hopefully oh, they live here oh. in Napa. <laughs> You're going to be like, did you see those ladies kicking? And I'll be like, no. <laughs> like, yeah, they were. So much kicking. And well, that's, yeah. That's, that's awesome. There you go. Oof. All right, what else you got before we get to our favorite five? Uh, I'm done. Let's get to our favorite five. Oh, all right. Well, I'm going to take a drink. You say what it is. All right, I will say what it is. You are drinking Bud Light Platinum. What? What's the favorite five? Oh, the favorite <laughs> five is five favorite things to put in your butt. Which would be really hilarious if you answer those, what you have written down to that question. It wouldn't make sense. It would kind of make sense. Mm-mm. Mine would. Um, I forget what our favorite five is. <laughs> really? No. But there was something I wanted to say, which was before we got to the favorite five. It was a podcast about pets. Oh, BB-8. Oh, right. Star Wars. I really want that BB-8 toy. Really? I do. But I'm, I'm not going to get it. Are you sure? Yeah. It's too, way too expensive. And what am I going to do with it? Well. It's we, cool. Like when you watch it roll back and forth and you put it on the shelf. We can see. I'd rather get like a BB-8 doll just or BB-8 thing just put on the shelf because like you're like, but oh, it's look, it like your remote control. It you like yeah. remote control stuff? Yeah, but what am I gonna do? Like you go up and down the hallway once. Yeah, and then Zero's gonna try to kill it. So. Yeah. So anyway, although he'd probably just, be afraid of it, actually. <laughs> I realize now I shouldn't have brought it up. So our favorite five <laughs> is five favorite things about getting a new pet. We might be able to get one cheaper. We'll look into it. Five favorite things about getting a new pet. Yes. Which? Yay. Yeah. So uh, I'll go first. Okay. Uh, my fifth favorite thing about getting a new pet. Oh, this reminds me. There's a story I have to tell with this. Okay. I don't know. Should I tell the story first? Are you going to tell about more Groupon stories? No, Amazon. Oh, okay. 
So I'm going to tell this story now. Yes. So we're getting a new puppy. So I had to order a new crate for the puppy. Mm-hmm. So I ordered a new crate from Amazon. Uh, and we needed it by this weekend because actually I needed it earlier, but uh, because of the, you know, the puppy and all and that the car. Yeah. yeah. Puppy and car together. So I ordered it and all that arrived was a plastic tray that goes under the crate. The crate itself did not arrive. Right. So and, I, and sometimes Amazon separates things and ships right. things separately. So we're like, oh, okay, cool. So, the rest is going to show up. So the mistake I made, one, was this isn't actually, this is off the Amazon website, but it's not. From Amazon. It's one of the private sellers that work through Amazon. No problem. So I got the, we got the plastic tray and I'm like, okay, I got to let them know I need the goddamn dog crate. This isn't going to work and I need it by the end of the week. So I contacted them and said, hey, look, I only got the plastic tray. I need the dog crate. If you can get it here by the end of the week, great. If not, just send me a refund. Right. You know, I'll send you back the tray. No big deal. And they said, we need pictures. Like, okay. Uh, I'll send you pictures. But like I said, it's all just going to be a picture me, of the tray. Yeah, all you sent me was the tray. <laughs> I need the crate. If you can't get it to me by the end, you know, I said, so finally, as the day went on, I'm like, there's no way they're going to get it to me by the end of the, the week. So I just, right. If they haven't even like, I just emailed to- them and I said, you know what? I'm going to send you the pictures, but I want a refund. So I go on Amazon. I cancel the transaction, ask for a refund. They cancel my refund request saying, no, we're taking care of it. And I'm like, uh, no, right? you're not. Because you're not going to get it here in time. <laughs> so this email thing goes back and forth. And I'm like, I, I want a refund. You're not going to get me the crate in time, which is fine. It's not a big deal. I went and bought another crate, as you know, right. for the dog. So I don't need your crate. So don't even send it. Don't even worry about it. So I, this email goes back and forth. Goes, oh, thank you for the pictures. We'll take care of the situation. I'm like, there, no, there's, there's no, no taking care right. of the situation. I sent the pictures anyway because I'm like, well, right. maybe they need this refund. So then this has been going on since when did it arrive? It arrived Monday, right? Yeah, something like that. It's been days. So it's been many, going many on days. all week. So then today they say, they sent me an email saying, return the crate you bought. We're sending you another crate. Thank you very much. And I'm like, I can't return the crate I bought. I'm using the crate I bought. I don't want your crate. This is unacceptable. Don't send me your crate. So then I contact Amazon and I'm like, I don't know what the hell's going on here. Right. And Amazon immediately is like, dude, no problem. You'll get refund. Don't even worry about that. You know, blah, right. blah, blah. So then I get an email from this per- these people, Other people sending right. the crate saying, just refuse shipment of the crate and then we'll process your refund. I'm like, UPS just drops stuff. We get stuff all yeah, the time. Yeah, we don't they get just, we don't get that option. Yeah. It, we just come home and there's I'm UPS like, on our front porch. <laughs> so I couldn't believe. I'm like, this is. I don't. You didn't send me anything. I don't have anything except to for return. Except for plastic tray. I'll, I'll send the plastic tray back. Hell, I'll pay right. for the shipping for the plastic tray. And even care. on it wasn't we didn't we look at the packing list and it said 18 pounds and we're like this is um, not 18 this pounds. Tray weighs like a pound. I don't know what yeah. they're talking about. So yeah. it was the weirdest. I, Wow, that's the, the weirdest bizarre, Amazon transaction yeah, you've ever had. It was kind of funny, though. They're like, no, they're going to fight with you about I, the I crate. Just, I just love how they told me, no, oh, return the crate you bought. I'm like, uh, no. I don't have a crate. No. No, no, return the crate I bought somewhere else. Oh, what? Return that crate because they're sending me one. And I'm like, you didn't get it here in time. I, if you, one of the reasons I ordered it from you was because I was going to get it in two days because we have Amazon Prime. Right. And we get it in two days. And we didn't. <laughs> well, we got the tray in two days. We didn't right. get the crate. So I'm like, I'm sorry. I need a crate. I had to go buy one. Right. Because you didn't. Fulfill. But it was. I, wow. They told me. Yeah. I don't, like, you didn't tell me all that. <laughs> well, I wanted to save it for this. Right. Wow. It was a much better story in my head. I'm going to say. So <laughs> uh, favorite five things about new pets. One, not ordering from this damn company from Amazon. I'll tell you that right now. I'm not. Is that really that your name. number five? No. No. Okay. <laughs> my number five is telling people. Especially when you're getting Aww. a new puppy. Because it's, I just like that I feeling. I need to put that on my list, but yeah. I just like that feeling of like, you're like, people are hey, guess hey. what? Yeah, like, and everybody's so happy And they're like, you. oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. What's funny is there are certain breeds of dogs that get like, oh, that's awesome. There are certain breeds of dogs that are like, oh, uh, pit bull. You say you're adopting a pit bull. Most of the time, unless people know the breed, right. know the history, there most people are like, oh. Wow. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh doberman not as much but there's still a little bit right. like oh wow those are big dogs right i'm like yeah 
Here. I think somebody said right. on our Instagram that females are hard to train or something like that. And I'm like, oh, oh thanks for your input. Man, I've, I learned that when I was freaking <laughs> six years old. Females are hard to train. <laughs> it's like right now. Oh, God. Jesus. My mom, my sister. <clears throat> okay. Took me years. <laughs> years. You, Hi. you're a wily one yourself. Can't I even keep yeah. you on a treadmill. <laughs> <laughs> you like it that way. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, so your favorite five, uh, number five, is telling people. people. Yeah, it's kind of cool. People get all excited. So you get a puppy. Yeah, what'd you get a pit bull? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, cool. Oh, you rescue. That's nice. Oh, you have tattoos. That's nice. Oh, you rescue. That's nice. Yeah, I'm like, okay, so that somehow lessens it. Okay. Yeah. (laughs) Anyway, I like it too. Okay, so I think that you also enjoy this. My number five. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if it's on your list or not, Mm -hmm. but. My number five is shopping for new puppy stuff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it is fun. Um, well, we love shopping for dogs. We don't we have We actually so. shop for our dog probably more than we shop for ourselves on a personal, besides food. Or vacations. Or things, well, yeah, but that's just looking online. That's not actually, I mean, actually we're physically going out to a store yeah. and like purchasing things. Yeah. Um, we shop for the dog more. We do. Because the other stuff well, is just I'm not food. With you. Back off, lady. Man, <laughs> I mean, we go shopping for food the all the time, food, but uh, what? What? All right. But uh, I like going and picking out toys, and it's just, it's fun and exciting, and and we do that anyway. But it's even more exciting when it's for someone new, and you can pick out puppy stuff because then you don't are restricted to the tough toys that Zero is going to destroy. <laughs> right. <laughs> There's only a certain amount of uh, certain toys that Zero can play with because he can destroy toys super fast. So. But right. now we can actually have puppy toys and stuff, so it's fun. Right. I agree. That's a good one. Number <laughs> uh, four for me is picking out the name. That's always fun. Um, yeah. yeah. So I didn't put that one on my list either, but I like all your choices so far. Yeah. I like also. picking out the name. Although I always have such weird names for pets. Right. I have to say them a lot out loud where like I pretend to call the pet or something and see I how I got to be honest. Nine is weird for me to say out loud. I feel yeah. like I'm saying no all the time. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be weird to be like nine. No. Nine, no. In in the past, because I... But I like the name itself. <clears throat> yeah. 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 So, like, in the past, I usually have the pet for a little bit before I name them. Yeah. So I can kind of see their personality. I, you, we've talked about this before, but, like, I am not a fan of pet names that are also human names. Right. So, like, Roy, I'm always like, Why? you made, you named our cat after the dude from Moving the Needle. Actually from Blade Runner, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, same guy. Have you seen them both in the same place at the same time? No, I haven't. That's no. a good point. So, uh, yeah. So that's always weird. It's always, you know, Carl, Clifford. Yeah. You know, Benji. Okay. Thumbs me out, man. <laughs> All right. So picking the <laughs> I just totally brought everything I down. Know. Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> picking the name is is fun. So and we, have a, we obviously have a numbers theme going right now. So we do. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. So what's going to happen when we run out of numbers? We're never going to run out of numbers. We should just name a dog. We pie. can start in like three digits. Pie <laughs> cubed. Pie cubed. Mm. Uh, that's weird. I don't like it. Okay. So my number four is having uh, first times with the new animal. Like, oh, I love my first times. Okay. What? What is wrong with that? <laughs> So, like, you know, like, the first time they spend, you know, they bring them home and they spend the night. And, like, the first time you put them on the harness and, like, you know, go, take them for a walk. Oh, that is not and, fun at all. The no, first but, time. I mean, I just enjoy, I enjoy the, like, them experience. Like, the you first time, like. watching me putting zero in a harness for the first time. Yeah. I mean, it's, <laughs> I don't know. There's something very. No, I understand. Like, loving. And it's, like, a moment. You well, know, it was, like, like when, when. Uh, nine pooped on the lawn for the first time. But we were, we're like, oh, she pooped. Well, you and me were thrilled. <laughs> Zero thought it was the, over the moon. He thought it was the best thing yeah, ever. His face like, was right there. Poop coming out of this little thing's butt. Right. Love it. <laughs> Love it. Let's do that some more. <laughs> it's true. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, like the first time she came over was a big deal. And like the her first night here is going to be a huge deal. So it's just all of those first experiences. Deal is what is it yeah. going to be? For sure. 
that dog has a set of lungs on her. <laughs> I haven't Freaking heard that little yet. Puppy. She was Super so quiet. quiet She's when she always was here, quiet. Except you in the put car. Her in the car in a crate and she loses her goddamn mind. <laughs> well, it's her first time in the car. It's you got to experience oh, that. <laughs> I have never heard I'm fairly happy I wasn't so there. Although it was so loud. This Monday I will experience that. It was so loud so. and I had the windows up and the air conditioner. It was so loud that I was afraid that people next to me were gonna think I was killing somebody. Oh god. I'm like, this is insane. Wow, I'm sorry. I didn't know it was that bad. Oh, it was in I mean you said it was bad, but that's really insane. bad. So my number three is the nervous excitement. I, I enjoy that nervous excitement of like, oh, how's, you know, because I'm always, I stress out about yes. stuff now. As I get older, I, I never did before, but really? now I do. Yeah. But I'm always. I, I didn't know you before. So, yeah. so I'm, I'm, you know, I'm thinking like, oh, puppy class and training and how right. our walk's going to go. But I like that. It's fun. It's like that new, like, what's going to happen? What are we going to do? Puppy, 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 puppy. <laughs> what I think. <laughs> Um, okay, so my number three is uh, this is again. Don't want it to sound creepy, but watching them like I love watching the new pet like um, explore Poop. and um, <laughs> um, did you just belch on yeah, yourself? <laughs> that was awesome. Um, like I love watching the puppy. Just like it makes me really happy to just the like discovery, watch. like watching them grow. Yeah, and then like when zero when zero was a baby and he would like try to get up on the couch and and he would just look at you like help me on the couch. Oh, okay, you know like but just watching him be goofy and happy it made me so happy just to sit outside and watch him frolic and play and like discover sticks and toys and treats and just and the fact that he was afraid of everything in the world right but i mean it just made me like i just sat there for hours watching yeah. him play or sleep or whatever anyway but like it just i love watching them and watching them experience life and life with us right so. i i think i think my list might be a little different i think i did my list like before the puppies even here oh so no no i'm just saying so i i don't want to oh, make, i, see. No, I yeah, don't yeah. want i don't want people to think like wow he doesn't like scenes because that's no yeah my I, mindset. like i love i love your list too so well, i mean should, i think my list is pretty awesome. your list is awesome okay <laughs> so what do we have number two mm-hmm. my number two is i love throwing which we did for zero but unfortunately we had to cancel right uh the puppy baby shower party i have to yes. scratch Okay, <laughs> we can do that. Uh, we can do that for nine because we still have all the stuff that we didn't get to use for zero because we planned a, a a puppy baby shower for and then zero, but we didn't get head. to do it. Yeah, yeah. zero um, seven got sick that weekend, so we end up having to cancel it. But we still have all the stuff. We could do it. Yeah, that'd, that'd be, be fun. Good. We should do it. We're going to. Yeah, yeah. let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, although I want to do it after we have obviously after right nine is here. We don't so. want to do it on our first day. That'd be ridiculous. No. Plus we'll so be the, sleepless. So yeah, so we're we're those crazy people that actually have because you know what we have friends who have goddamn kids. Yeah, and a lot goddamn of people who, kids. a lot of people who listen probably have kids, and you guys probably had a goddamn baby shower. People brought you gifts. <laughs> so people like us that don't have kids or can't have kids, and we have pets, we get screwed because we spend hundreds of dollars a year on goddamn babies. Babies <laughs> we don't even know are going to like us or we'll ever see again because they're like. You know, how many <laughs> weddings or baby showers you've been to and you don't even talk to the people anymore. That's and true. so now so I'm like, true. no, 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 no. You're bringing a goddamn gift. Can I just gift. send you this Amazon gift card? How about that? <laughs> However, this time it's not going to be as great because I'm, we're not going to have people bring gifts because everybody for Zero Shower gave us gifts yeah. and they actually dropped them off to us even though we didn't have the party. Yeah. So Because we canceled so yeah. late. So we don't we don't. Right. We can't. Yeah, we cancel like the day before. Yeah. So we don't. We don't want to do that this time. But anyway, um, if you have kids out there and you've had a baby shower, we'll send you our address, and you should probably send us a Stop puppy it. gift because <laughs> you know we're getting. Oh my screwed. gosh! Yeah. Stop it. Okay. You, you know, hey, do your tax dollars pay for my dog's education? No, I don't think so. <laughs> All right. We do that shit. Yeah. <laughs> we go to puppy yeah. training class. And, and, and. We pay for it. You know, every time a school bond comes up, I'm like, vote no, bitches. Stop it. Okay. <gasps> Kids education. Freaking. <laughs> My ass. Yeah. Right. Okay. Are you done? Freaking find some good music. <laughs> Quit growing beards, you dumbasses. Oh my gosh. Okay. You done? No. No. Yes. What's your number? Um, so again, my number two is yours is kind of before and mine is after. No, don't grow a beard. October to New Year's. Do not grow it. Uh, so what's your number two? I'm serious. Wait, what's my number two? I don't know, but don't grow oh, a beard. Oh, my party. What's your number two? No. 
I, What's your number two? I kibosh I'll the beard. I'll stop it right now. I will veto I the beard. Control. Veto Come on. the beard. I want to eat pizza. Let's do this. <sighs> Fuck. Okay. My number two is um, I love the bonding process. So like the, as you were discussing, the first few nights with the puppy, especially the first night, is pretty tough. But um, I love when there's that moment where they kind of look at you and you can kind of tell that they're um, – recognize you and they come to you and recognize your voice and um i remember in particular this one time with zero where like something scared him i can't remember something scared him everything scared you mean he woke up yeah come on he's (laughs) not that bad but um and he ran to me and he like climbed up into my lap and like shoved his head like into my like little arm armpit or whatever and 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 he was like oh like oh hold me and i was just like i just melted i was just like oh I love you. <laughs> I will say that. So the, there's the bonding and like, and like, and then they sleep in the bed or they want to come up on the couch. They just want to be with you and follow you around. And yeah. yeah, like he, like seven waited outside the bathroom for you to take a shower because like you being separated just for the 15 minutes you were in the bathroom was too long. Like he wanted to be in there with you. Oh yeah. Seven, seven was a special case. With yes. Me. But I just mean that like that whole bonding process, like, like I said, when, well, like, the, I will say this was zero over the last few months. Yeah. He's become more bonded to you for sure. So, um, I will say, and with the little one with nine, she seems to like us. Oh yeah, she does. I so mean, far. like I'd call her and she'd come over and she would like lay on my feet and so and She's obviously the smartest puppy ever. <laughs> Stop. Okay. Most puppies don't do that till 10 weeks. Come Ours started now. doing it at seven. Have you ever noticed that about parents? <laughs> yeah, they do. Very that all the time. rarely. Do you find parents a parent, always have the best kids? Yeah. yeah do you, very rarely. You've had parents like my kids. It's are fucking so ugly, stupid. Dumbass. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which is funny because I know some parents who have ugly, dumbass kids, and I'm wow. like, wow, wow, okay, that, so that kid is that. We don't need to go there, but um, there's like, a curve. So there's, there's curve. our kitty Roy, who I knew early on, um, that he was kind of a mess, that he's not that smart, and he's kind of clumsy, and I was like, this is gonna suck because I'm gonna know like the vet on a first name basis. Like we're gonna be here so much that like I'm gonna know the vet. First name like, bases or truff? Vases. Did I say no, bases? I don't know. I thought I said. That's what I heard. Okay, cool. I hear what anyway. I want to hear. It's like right. the point. <laughs> okay, so what's your number one? The point, the Nilsson point. Not I'm just not. What's your number one point? My number one is shopping. Is it's it not- really? <laughs> You love to shop. I you love, love it. Shop. I do. For I anything, love, I love, all the time. I That's do. why your favorite thing is Groupon. I, I, and I really <laughs> love, I, I, for me, there's I really like... Sometimes I come home and they're just packages and I'm like, what did we get? <laughs> I really like the journey in everything. I mean, yeah. I really like, for me, it's... We have to revisit our $50 talk about it rule. <laughs> I, no, I have not. I have not broken that rule. Everything you got was under $50? <laughs> yeah. Wow. I just, yeah. You, that is impressive. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Uh-huh. Tell everybody what you got for your anniversary. I got, oh, I meant to. I had it written down. Uh, I got an anniversary band. Yay. Which sounds so funny because usually the girl gets the anniversary band. But we yeah. are equal <laughs> opportunity rights activists. Absolutely. So I got a black titanium anniversary band, yes. which I wear on the opposite hand, my ring finger. Ring finger on the other hand. I was right. going to wear them both on one hand, but it's too clunky. Yeah. So that's, yeah. So yeah, so that's my awesome. One, I love that it's shopping. <laughs> my number one is 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 buying stuff. That's awesome. It is kind of cool with Groupon and all the deals I found. We actually for the we've puppy, made, yeah, it we've hasn't done been really bad. well. Yeah, much better than we did with zero. I thank you for that. I appreciate You're it. You're very welcome. <laughs> However, we're gonna have to get another dog bed because that one I want. That one we got. Yeah. No, yeah, it's kind of too bright. It's, it's gotta go outside. I, yeah, it's an outside bed. Anyway, I don't think it's an inside one? bed. Anyway, okay. So my number one is um, I'm not gonna cry while I say this. I believe I can fly. Okay. I believe I can touch the sky. Can I do my number one? I think about it every night and day. Go ahead. Are you done? Go ahead and do your number one. Okay. I appreciate oh, that. Am I your number one? Well, how is that in getting a new. You said, animal? can I do my number one? And I said, am I your number one? So all you have to do is answer you. Just yes okay. or no. Yes. Okay. Let's do this. Let me say what my number one fave five is, and then we can go. Fine. Okay. So um, my number one is um, I love expanding our family and making it bigger, and I love like I I <laughs> what? We're, well, our family was big, and then it got a little smaller, and now it's getting back to the size. I just it's like supposed to be. 
I'm just playing. So I just love like, um, I don't know. I just view the pets as our family and we do everything together. And um, it's just such a huge part of our lives that um, I feel like something we do together and it kind of, uh, it's, it's just our family. And so we're bringing another, you know, loving creature into our family and it just makes it bigger and makes my heart really full and I love it. Yeah, no, that that's very, yes. It's interesting because it's, like I said earlier, it's hard for me because right. I, I, it's, I, I didn't want seven to go away. No, so sure. it's, course, it's weird because I don't want, <laughs> the nice thing is I don't feel like we're, we are replacing seven. I think if we'd got a dog right away, I would have felt that way. Right. And we waited a long time. I mean, well, and we discussed it over and over again. Like we should, we shouldn't, we should, we shouldn't. Well, and, and I will say uh, also it was interesting when we got back from getting nine, I was like freaking out. I'm like, yeah. I don't know if we did the right thing. Right. I don't know if we should do this. I right. don't. And it, and I slept on it and mm-hmm. felt much better the next day and feel great now. But I feel so much better after seeing them together. I can't imagine. And how happy Zero was when she was there. Yeah. I yeah. can't imagine what parents of humans go through. Yeah. I can't imagine. That's got to be yeah. freaking insane. So, again, if you have a child and you had a baby shower, Stop you it. owe some people. Oh, my some gosh. Gifts. Stop that's it. All I'm saying. <laughs> Oh my you know, God. that's great. Anyway, so my number one is expanding our family. I like to expand the family. I know you We do. should try to expand it later. <laughs> All right. Say our goodbyes. Yes. Okay. Thank so- you everybody for listening. You guys are awesome. And uh, we, uh, if we don't love you all, we're definitely uh, in like with most of you. Oh, it's dark in here. Wow. No, I meant to ask you before, but I just Bossy forgot. Bossy McBosser pants. <laughs> no, I just, I just realized that it's been dark in here for a while, so I don't know how the YouTube video looks. But um, if you check out the well. YouTube video for a... I just have to put it up for last week. Oh, really? You didn't no. put it up? No. Oh, okay. I've been busy, man. So busy. He's actually been really busy at work. I only hear from oh. him a couple times a day, and oh. one of them's like, what do you want for dinner? <laughs> oh. I gotta gotta go check home. the YouTube video for the poof. Gotta go home and cook. <laughs> clean all right anyway so darkangelsandprettyfreaks.com check out our free app which apparently is going to get some cool new shit i believe i can um please feel free to check us out on other stuff like facebook instagram youtube pinterest we have a pinterest it's kind of awesome you guys what (laughs) check out our voicemail leave us a message and we'll read it on air 774-3273-713 or 774 DAPF 713. I need you to stop talking while I do this. I wasn't talking. <laughs> I didn't know what okay. you're talking about. Um, we are very proud to be members of some awesome podcast networks musingsofageek.com, dangerentertainment.net, wicked, wicked radio.com. Wicked. Wicked. What? Like okay. <laughs> Poddam.com. We need to have her on the show. Yes. Um, Podgodsnetwork.com, tangentboundnetwork.com, of course. And yes, Anthony Thomas. He's feel free to follow us on, um, that's true, um, iTunes, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, and if we're on Geek Life Radio on Wednesdays at one thirty. I still think we are. A lot of are. times when I talk to my mom, I think of it as Anthony Thomas. Um, you can talk look. to S. Anthony Thomas about that. <laughs> they have a similar look. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys so much for listening. Are you talking to me? Yeah. Oh. Peace out. Oh. Oh. That shit. You know what we didn't say is who did our intro song. No one's listening right now. Heno did our intro song. It's well, obvious. He's done that. it several times. Yeah. Yes, I'm on a mission to get you to listen to me land on a piece. Yeah. I've got dark angels and pretty feet. My purple nails, they glitter. Hear your host, kneeling on a lease. Listen on iTunes and Stitcher. Follow on Facebook and Twitter. Give the DAPF a hotline a call at 774-327-3713. That's 774-327-3713. And let them know how you like the show or anything else you want to say or do.